begin with is Eve Meyer. Come on, give it to Eve Meyer. <laughs>
that all the people who predeceased you have left on eBay. <laughs> Even though you know your own child will sell them back to eBay the minute you buy. <laughs> but one of the greatest things that you can do is you can tell other people how to live their lives. You know so much by the time you are older that you can tell them about living their lives. Some people will even ask you what you should do about their lives, and then you tell them about it. But people do not care so much about these things. For instance, if you are an 80-year-old stand-up comic, <laughs> nobody says anything about it. It's like a dancing dog. <laughs> nobody asks how well the dog dances. <laughs> dog do the cha-cha-cha? <laughs> Does it waltz? Can it do the ballet? No. They think it is a miracle. A god said a miracle. Look at this. The dog is on two feet sometimes. <laughs> so you have a great deal of pleasure in what you're doing. And people appreciate it once in a while because they're hearing from another planet. Can I tell you that this planet is one you will visit if you go to bed and get up and go to bed and get up and eat good food. If you don't take care of yourself, you may not get here, and then you won't have all of this fun and games, but you'll be better off. <laughs> You can be a manic, pixie, little old lady. Unless you're, you know, LGBTQ and not female identified. But when you are this old and you go past the perfume rack in Nordstrom, they will try to shoo you away. <laughs> because they think that you're going to steal the perfume. This is one of the stereotypes about older women. And you're not. You can't steal the perfume. You can't wear the perfume. You will stink in the perfume. Older women always smell bad in the perfume, <laughs> if you've noticed. <laughs> Go up to an older woman someday and just take a sniff. <laughs> it's ridiculous. What you have to do when you are an older woman is go to the grocery store and buy flavors. <laughs> <laughs> and then you put raspberry flavoring in your hair and vanilla and coconut on your body and you go around and people say, God, she smells nice. <laughs> Kind of like a pie. <laughs> <laughs> and you never have to go to the lunchrooms again. <laughs> In fact, you have kind of an invisibility cloak, you know, like Harry Potter. <laughs> you throw your invisibility cloak around yourself, and nobody ever even sees you. They may smell you, but they do not see you. And you can just sort of walk to the front of an audience and stand in front of people when there's a big crowd and nobody knows you're there. You, you can go to the front of the um, Grateful Dead concert and dance and everybody has no idea that you're there when they pretend they don't. And there you are in front of everything. Airports, no problem with the airport. You just walk yourself to the front of it. You can give somebody a dirty look if they absolutely insist that they see you. But you're in the front of it. You're a little old lady. No one knows you're there. The final thing is, when you're a little old lady, you can perfect your own cooking. I have wonderful 
wonderful things that I make with low-fat yogurt and sugar-free cookies. I throw them out. <laughs> Finally, the last thing I want to ask you for is a housekeeping thing. If you find a pink umbrella out there, would you bring it to me? I haven't lost a pink umbrella, but I've always wanted one. <laughs>